Hello, I'm Coach John Shepherd, and in this short video, we're going to take a look at how you can get a great run up. This video follows on from my two most recent ones on setting up the jump using mats and lines on the track surface so that you can develop the correct rhythm to get the optimum jump and takeoff. If you've not watched those videos, do go back and watch them as without practicing how to set up the jump and the penultimate step, etc., you won't get the best optimised run up that you can. As I say in those two videos, it's crucial that you establish the correct patterning of the last three steps in order to optimise your takeoff, and this must be practised over and over again so that when you come to jump off a full run up and practise your full run ups, you'll effect a similar rhythm over those final steps. But of course, there's a little bit more to it than that. Okay, well, you've got to make sure that you step in the right places coming into the takeoff at greater speed without the mats, which will help the rhythm. Here's Paul, and you can see that the third to last step is made from a push of the toes, and the second to last is more flat footed. So let's take another look. Third step, penultimate step, and through into the takeoff. The takeoff must also be made from a flat or heel led takeoff position. Every jumper's run up, and this applies to both the long and the triple jump, must comprise of three phases an acceleration phase, an alignment phase that's coming up, and an attack phase. During the acceleration phase, I recommend the feet are kept low to the track surface and that the acceleration is very deliberate. The acceleration needs to be fast, but not as fast as a sprint start. You must be disciplined and keep the same rhythm. It's then a seamless transition into the alignment or coming up phase where the upright sprint posture is attained. The sprinting technique used needs to be relaxed and fluent. Now it's during this phase that the jumper sights the board. They do this so that if necessary they can make tiny adjustments, hopefully unconsciously, to be able to hit the board. Being told not to look at the board is incorrect information in my opinion, in that you need to sight it early on in order to be able to make hopefully subconscious adjustments to get onto the takeoff in the right position. During the attack phase, you need to be traveling at your optimum speed in order to take off and your movement through those steps must be positioned and forwards. Of course, developing a rhythm and an awareness of where you are on the run up and how fast you are traveling must be practiced over and over again in training in order for you to effect the optimum run up when it comes to competition. So, as I always say in my videos, you must practice your run-ups over and over again and break them down into their three phases and practice each phase individually. So phase one acceleration, phase one and two acceleration and attack, and phase one, two and three, the complete run-up. And preferably at the pit and with a takeoff or a token jump at the end. I found that doing the mat drills as I've shown you in the other videos that I've recently uploaded, off of a medium to long approaches really does help the jumpers learn how to set their takeoffs up off of their long run ups. So, to reiterate, you must practice your run ups over and over again so that you learn your rhythm and that it becomes automatic to you. You want to develop the confidence that you know you're going to hit the ball in the right positions every time you compete and not waste efforts with no jumps or stuttering or overstriding into the takeoff. Here we see Sarah recently jumping 6 meters 39 and you can see the speed through the ball and the confidence that she has in terms of attacking and positioning and taking off optimally. You must realise that the run-up is a specific skill. It's not just a pure sprint into the takeoff. 
there are the three phases and then there are the positioning of, in particular, the last three steps from toes to flat to flat and the rhythm of those three steps has to be in a certain ratio in order to make sure you position and get the hips through and the free leg into the takeoff. Just a heads up, I was recently interviewed by Marcus from the Triple Jumpers podcast and I was honoured to be able to take part in one of the programmes. So do look out for that soon. Check out his Instagram and his podcasts. Hopefully the information I've provided in this video will help you and your jumping. Do practice your run-ups regularly and then you'll get the positioning and the confidence you'll need to jump big. As usual, good luck with your training and competition and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have through my social media or in the section below this YouTube video.